bit of a change of venue tonight. I'm making my way down to the River Ban in Guildford. The reason being, I was out for a cycle earlier on and I stopped at the, uh, the viewing platform at the far side and I was just standing as you do looking at the water and I noticed shoals of fish ascending the weir and uh, as it turns out after a bit of examination there were roach and I didn't know, I know that roach would sort of normally migrate upstream of it but I didn't know they would go up weirs uh, so I thought I'd come back down and give them a throw now whenever I was starting over there all in beyond the tree, below the tree there I mean the water is literally full of fish uh, and I'm presuming probably down here will be full of fish as well I'll try and get a bit of footage, now oh, there's one there, jumping right I'm fishing with a gold head, Montana and another wee thing in a dropper, that's just the setup I had so we'll make our way down here and try not to fall in would be a good idea it's not going to be particularly easy because the bed of the river is just boulders and they're like ice it's very slippy so I know there was a load of fish here trying to get up but I don't see any now I've still seen a few jumping at the far side let's chuck this out I'm not, uh, not, I have no experience at all of river fishing. At a top there. Oh, I had one on there. <clears throat> I've changed the point fly onto like a a green damsel nymph thing with a gold head. Here we go. Oh, he's off. <laughs> Hard to catch. I know there's some quite big roach over there because I saw them like fish half a pound more. Maybe they're not interested in a fly at the minute. Oh, I missed, missed him again. That's better. There we go. This looks like a decent roach. <laughs> there you go. That's the size of fish I was seeing earlier. There's the hook out. Now if we can keep on doing that, we'll have a bit of crack. Here we go.
bit smaller that time. There's a load of fish rising down over the far side, so at some stage I might stick on a dry fly. Grand looking wee fish. Would you believe there's a mayfly right there? That's that's the first mayfly I've seen in years, and there's not a fish going for it it's too big. Oh, that one nearly took it. He's up and away. Next permutation, be goldhead on a dropper and a small nymph on the point. I'll try this. Surely this will work. There's another mayfly. See it? Yellow, bright yellow. Yeah. Better get down beside the water. He took the wee gold head, which I would have expected, I'll be truthful. Oh, he was on the point fly. He's on the point. Oh, a lovely shine off that boy. Look at the colour. Look at the blue. See the blue on him? That's fantastic. Sure, it's only a bit of fun. I'm going to take a dander downstream, just for the sake of taking a dander. Obviously this pool here is chock-a-block with roach, but I'm wondering, maybe is the next pool down the same, or have they just come up as far as they can come? It's quarter past nine. And it's a beautiful sunset as you can see. It's a great place to be out, isn't it? Peace and quiet. What do you think? Would there be any in here? I 
I don't see as much activity on the surface with fish raising, but I'll give it a couple of casts, but I don't want to necessarily jump down there because it's about six foot and I might never get out again. We'll see if there's anything about. I don't do much river fishing, I have to say. Oh, oh what was that? That was extremely small, that was like a very small trout. Yeah, oh, another wee knock there. Not sure what it was. Here's a wee spot that's a bit, a bit slower and a bit wider. It's funny, I've just seen two mayflies going down there and they weren't, they weren't bothered by the fish. They went the whole way down there through the rapids, unmolested. So it would appear that the roach migration is a, a bit of a one-off, having fished down from that pool right down there, back three or three hundred yards or so, without an offer of anything else at all. Uh, I would say I just struck it lucky in that top pool, having seen them earlier on when I was out in the bike. So there you go. Not a bad evening's crack, it's getting a wee bit cool now, it's 20 to 10. I give it another chuck back up here for five minutes and then hit the road home. Until the next time, all the best.